Three weeks into the teachers' strike and Treasury has finally broken its silence on the matter, intimating that teachers will not be having their demands for better remuneration met until the next budget. You Kenyans, you want to have your cake and you also want to eat it. Previously, the Minister for Finance and Powers for off-budget expenditure. At the moment, the Minister for Finance has no power even iota to approve anything which is not in the budget. That is what the new constitution uh, requires. So you, are, you want to live in the past and at the same time you want to live in the future. You have to decide. The Kenya National Union of Teachers, NAT, insists that the government is not half as serious in honoring their most pertinent concern. NAT is demanding a 300% pay hike and allowances contained in a deal signed in 1997. The Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers, Kupet, on the other hand, is demanding the harmonization of teachers' salaries with those of other civil servants alongside a 100% salary increment. Yes, there's a solution for the teachers to go back to classrooms. Uh, that is really what we'd uh, like. That's what we have been preaching. That's what we have been asking. The pupils are suffering. Uh, exams are being uh, threatened. So really our appeal is for the teachers to go back to the classrooms, to go and teach as we continue and engage them with the negotiations. Week long talks to end the stalemate are yet to reach a compromise. The bone of contention is fueling fears among Standard 8 and Form 4 candidates expected to sit their examinations from next month, as it is both the government and the unions appear to be playing hardball. Salim Bilu, Citizen at One.